Yeah. And, and, and agreed. Um, and I think that's part of not understanding the, the dark spiritual presence around us that hates God, that, that uh, would uh, strike out at us and then say, blame God, all in that methodology of moving us to the cliff, like you said earlier. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is um, y- y- yeah, if you can, it, I guess the goal of the world is, first of all, to get you to turn against God. In other words, pursue your dream, whatever it is. You know, it can be subtle, just like that, like do your own thing, you know, which is another rephrasing, a repackaging of the famous phrase by Alistair Crowley, do what thou wilt, which is, a, a, which is the Luciferian axiom or, if you will, um, mantra or, if you will, manifesto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, the do what you want versus do what God wants. In other words, versus realize your true purpose. Solomon goes on to say in Ecclesiastes, though, look, the whole and he, this guy had everything. He was dabbling in the occult. He had the concubines and this and that. Every pleasure known to man, just unbelievable wealth, right? And at the end of all of it, at the end of the whole thing, and he's godly too. He was given. He became the most, the wisest man the world has ever known. Read Proverbs if you don't believe me. It's unbelievable wisdom right there that you can access uh, because that was his wish to God. That was his, his desire to be wise. Okay, but at the end, applying all that wisdom that God gave him, he finally concludes that the whole purpose of man, the whole duty of man is to, is to serve God. There's really nothing else to There's nothing All else is vanity. There really isn't anything else. So once you know that, Russ, what I, here's the good news. Once you know this, you can be happy because you don't, because the worst thing in the world, the most painful thing I've ever been through in my life is trying to find my own happiness. <laughs> yep, yep. I had never found it. I just was always on a search and, and, and always wanting, never satisfied. I, and, and then, I, you know, and I thought, oh, I must have lost the race. I must have, uh, I'm a loser. I'm a fool. And then I realized that, oh, maybe the point of our lives isn't to find our own personal happiness. Or, it, you know, in other words, once we lose our lives to him, that we start living for him rather than ourselves, we give up our lives, suddenly we find ourselves happy. The burden is now off our shoulders to please mommy and be happy. Sure. Well, yeah, because we, you know, our we our search is ended and and. There is a peace and a power and a presence that literally comes into us, and we're we're re we're reconnected with with ultimately you know the Creator is the Redeemer, and uh, the Redeemer you know He comes and brings us back into that relationship. So um, we just simply I mean and that's how it is that I've seen with hundreds of others over the years too that in all the searching and all the you know painful things people go through. Um, there's someone who will pick them up and and brush it all off and wash off all the guilt and cleanse everything, tend to our wounds, enter our very being, and literally um, lift us to a position and a place that we never could have really conceived. I mean, to be a friend of God now, to be a child, direct personal child of God, to be able to, um, you know, embrace God in worship, to know. And then, Zeph, I, I still think that part of what we find in the biblical revelation is what so many millions of New Agers are hoping for, looking for, they're longing, they're living a mirage. That's they're ironic. out in the desert looking at a mirage, and when they get there, they're, they, again, they're, they're, there's nothing there, and they're, then they have to go looking again and again in another experience, another place. Whereas um, what we have, what I have in my life, um, and what we'll see in the future is in glorification, um, Zeph, seeing God face to face, as as friend, um, as the one who loved us, and looking at the face of God is what the future is when we come when we come back to Him in Christ and know Him personally. Yeah, and, 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 and so we know. I mean, uh, I know I know many New Agers I've dealt with, and you know, like the one that was in the coffee shop not too long ago says, "Well, when I die, I just go out to the beyond, to the beyond." 
and they're kind of like pointing to the air, and I said, well, where? And they said, well, out there. And I said, well, where out there? Uh, and they, sh- they finally just shrug their shoulders. They have no, I- they have no clue of or they, where they would end up. Or they invent reincarnation all over again and say, well, it's biblical because, you know, Elijah and all these different people were reincarnated. It's John the Baptist and different. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, that's neither here nor there. I want to get to Russ Dizdar and the Russ Dizdar experience to, to have the Russ because really it's like an experience now because you've got many different methods that you use for people to experience God. You say on your site, you can know God. That's one of your things that you, I guess, a slogan. And not, not, to put it in the best, sure. best light is one of the phrases that you, you too can know God. So you're there to, to bring people into the same experience you've had. Uh, sure. At Shatter the Darkness, that's shatterthedarkness.net. And if you've got access to a computer, go ahead and you can check it out. There's a lot there. You also have a radio uh, broadcast weekly every Sunday night. Yeah. And uh, what is, that's on Blog Talk Radio? Yeah. Um, we, we're just, you know, we've tried. And again, I think, Zef, we're, we're kind of novice at it. You know, we just kind of look at the instructions and set out there and do it. But that's what's <laughs> incredible that it that it does bring, you know, an impact because yeah, it does. part of what we do is because there's a motivation. God is within us, Seth. He's moving us. There's a scripture that the Apostle Paul says that God's love compels him to go. So that's yeah. that's just part uh, yeah, of what... Yeah, whatever you need to learn, he'll teach you. You know, you need to learn the, the, the little bit of... They've, thank God they made the... You know, really, thanks be to God that they made the... the, the the technology has made it easy to just push button your podcast and broadcast nowadays. It's amazing to me. It really Isn't it is. great? I mean, now they give you a call-in number. And so you can actually call in with Russ. But to get there, let me just say, Russ, you can give out the details. But if you want to connect with Russ and what's going on, shatterthedarkness.net. But there, if you listen Sunday night, there is a uh, number you can call in. Correct. Right, yeah. If they if they go to shadowdarkness.net, they'll see where it says how they can go to the, you know live radio and and uh, listen to other things and and if they do, there's a phone number they can call in. We had uh, callers in last week and yes. again, amazing to me. And even I get to watch a chat screen where people come on and talk. And there's a lady, Zeph, that uh, was talking with some of the others. And when I was talking, she's listening. And I and she's typing out. I want what Russ is talking about. I want that in my life. And yeah. so I just said, you know, live on the air. All you need to do is call out on the name of the Lord Jesus and ask Him to come into your life and to believe on Him as Lord and Savior. And then she's typing out. She has no idea that I can read the screen. She's typing uh-huh. out. You know, I accept. G-, you know, she. Pr- I did the prayer with people. And yeah, uh, yeah. she prayed out, you know, she's praying out, and she's actually typing her prayer into the chat room. I accept Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. And it's like the other chat room people that were Christians are like all excited and happy for her. And I said, well, we're really happy. And I mentioned her name. We're really happy for so-and-so. I mean, this is incredible. She just accepted Jesus. And then you see this come on the screen. And she goes, how do you know? Uh, how did you know I did that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. I, I said, dear girl, I said, her name was Patty. I said, Patty, I said, I can see it on the screen. I said, uh, yeah. I, we're all I, so she's been back every week now and growing and getting materials. Mm-hmm. And and uh, and uh, so that's, it is great. It is incredible that a guy from Finland just wrote me this week. And, mm-hmm. and, a, and a lady from, uh, I just got a call prior to this show, uh, is flying in from Germany mm-hmm. um, uh, due to another ministry, um, Carlotta Walt- Waltman, and and uh, is coming in for prayer and deliverance from the mm-hmm. dark stuff, and 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 literally to find total freedom in Christ. And it's, so it's amazing to me how it all works. Mm-hmm. Now you mentioned the dark side, and you know all the tactics of the enemy, and you've also worked extensively with. Um, you know, one of the more nefarious and dark realms of institutional Satanism that that deals with uh, multiple personality disorder caused on purpose for the purpose of creating soldiers or multiples, if you will, that would be used um, for satanic purposes in life. And I'm assuming here a lot of them have like a blacked out or missing time where they end up at a ritual or something of that sort, and then they're back in their lives, 
and so the missing time, I guess, that purpose of creating the multiple through trauma, through, a, through, through torture, would be so that they could participate in rituals without knowing they were there. You know, that sort of stuff. And you've been attacked uh, physically. You've also worked with law enforcement regarding satanic sacrifices. This is the dark stuff, folks. Uh, satanic sacrifices out in the countryside where the people go missing and they were used in a ritual. How prevalent is all this... Because the media tries to poo-poo it all like the UFO thing. They try to make fun of it. And Hollywood also makes fun of it. But how real is the, the structured Satanism in institutions around the world? Well, it's, it's, um, it's uh, growing. It's been growing. Different forms of it. And uh, what you're talking about is one of the most... Uh, it's a transgenerational... The, 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 you're talking about the... Mm -hmm. the I don't want to say the real Satanists, but the ones that the ones that believe Satan is real, the ones that believe that they're in touch, the ones that believe they're in, a, in an agenda to help bring uh, Satan uh, to power in the world. Um, so there's there's numerous. I mean, there's a, like 4.5 million diagnosed cases wow. of what you just mentioned, and even uh, more than that out there. In MPD. Europe is even worse. Yeah. So that's we need to keep, take a look at what's going on and see why uh, in the 90s, the fastest growing subgroup among white middle class kids, boys, was Satanism. Yeah, and, and uh, I've also we noticed have that thousands of uh, people involved now. Yeah, I've also noticed that that what happens is that the, the, the people who become the high level multiples and a lot of these are chosen because there's bloodlines and witchcraft and occultism all wrapped up in it. And then. They become multiples, you know, they become chosen one, and a lot of them are made into multiples when they're five years old, you know, six years old. They're initiated, they're traumatized, their altars are created, they're used, and then they in turn become programmers. Exactly. And, and that, that's one of the most fascinating things. In other words, the inmates do run the asylum. Uh, exactly, because <laughs> well, because they've been trained and programmed for it, and that, and they're turned in to be those kind of. Uh, uh, cloned, uh, mm -hmm. you know, cloned uh, followers, and, uh, the, and, and the, goal the same is, thing to okay. And to, the goal to is create the, a new generation. The goal would be the same to subdue the earth for Antichrist or to fulfill, um, you know, the scriptures that they want to fulfill the scriptures and bringing a whole realm under a one world Luciferic order where all these people are obedient in worshiping the dragon, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, and and, uh, and and see the the weird thing too is to hear, you know, like like the coast to coast thing, George, any of those guys, to listen to those and, and and notice again, millions and millions listen there too, and they're all seekers. They're 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 what we were, and right, right. Uh, uh, um, and they're looking, and the and the and the weird thing is many of them believe that there's evil coming. It's in the air. That there probably is an antichrist going to come, but they're not even. They they're not safe from it. They don't know. I mean, what are they going to do when it when it all comes out, and uh, when evil comes spewing out in that that level, um, uh, that's the warning. We better be ready. Um, we better be ready, and uh, because there's going to be such a deception and such a satanic presence uh, that's coming. And that the Bible is prophesied for years as a warning um, that uh, the again the, the escape from it uh, is Jesus Christ. He Amen. came and he's returning. That's the other side of the story that he too is returning. And so we're we're coming to the time. That's why people can look around now and say, "Man, look at the earthquake! Look at all these things occurring! Look at how crazy the world's becoming!" Yep, exactly as has been foretold. Mm -hmm. And uh, and in the mix of all that, God is, uh, you know, He's screaming out, and He's uh, He's calling us home. And there's a scripture in the Acts says that He summons all people everywhere, every human being, on the lowliest little island mm -hmm. somewhere. Uh, it doesn't matter where. He's God Himself is summoning us, and made the way home out of it. Um,